Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Russian Fishing 4 and today I want to talk to you guys about premium and gold. Let's start up with gold first. So gold is, uh, we got two currencies in our game, that is silver, which everyone should, I think knows by now, and then there is gold. Gold you can only purchase through uh, real life money. And to do that, you hit the plus sign, which is over here. It will pop up a web browser and you will be directed to the website. Uh, I'll talk about that in a couple of minutes later on. Um, then here we have premium. Now premium uh, has four perks right now. Premium A gives you a slight increase in experience for each fish that you catch. B. Premium gives you a slight increase in skill percentage. C. Premium gives you a slight increase in crafting percentages. And D. Premium is giving you, giving you the option to gift items to another player. You do not need to be a premium or player to receive items. It can be both premium and non-premium. But you do need to be premium member in order to give away stuff to others. So those are the four perks of premium. Now, and this I cannot stress out enough. Premium does not give you discount in the shops. Premium does not give you more money for fish that you sell. Premium does not unlock levels, water bodies or skills faster. You cannot buy your way up into this game. The only way to get better at fishing to raise your skill points to raise your crafting is by simply playing the game that is is a concept that you actually do not see a lot in games these days not anymore but it is a concept that russian fishing truly holds uh, holds on to so if you think that by getting yourself premium you'll make more money you're wrong if you think by getting yourself premium you'll immediately say unlock level 20 when you're level 12 you're wrong if you think that with premium you will unlock say uh, uh, Lake Olberg uh, uh, where I'm currently on level 12 lake and you're level 5 you're wrong you will not be able to do that so okay having that said <laughs> so please get that into your head having that said let's have a look at what it does so if you hit the plus button actually a new window will pop up and if you guys give me a second i can actually show it to you uh, here we go there okay so i hit the plus button it doesn't matter which of the two plus buttons you hit you get uh, if you hit the plus for premium you get here to premium if you had the plus for gold you get here to gold but you can also here on the main menu just go towards that so, 7 days of premium, 30 days of premium, 90 days of premium, 180 days of premium, 360 days or 50 years. Uh, those are currently the premium memberships that we offer. Later on in game, you all will also be of, um, there will also be the option to purchase like one day, uh, one day of premium and 3 days of premium or 5 days, something along those lines. But that will show up later. Right now, these are the premium memberships that we offer. So, um, when you're on the English server, the prices will be stated in dollars. When you're on the German server, the prices will be in euros. And when you're on the Russian server, the prices will be in rubles. Um, simply select the one that you want, say 7 days of premium, here we go. And then it says select a payment method. Currently, we only offer two options, which is pay through PayPal and pay through credit debit card. Uh, the option credit debit card is not shown, but if you hit the PayPal, I'm not going to do that by the way, because then my, my login details will be available to you guys. And now I love you guys. I do not trust you guys with my bank account. But yeah, um, if you want to pay through credit debit, just hit this button. It will open up with a PayPal logo on top, underneath uh, your username and your password. And then underneath that, there's actually a button that says pay with credit debit. 
So hit that button then. And then you simply go through the process. You hit OK and your Dice Premium will be added to your account. You will be redirected to the website and it will actually show your profile. Here we go. Please don't spam on my email address. Um, and then here it shows Premium, 37 days left. Uh, that is what I currently got. Uh, if you got seven days, it will say premium seven days left. Now, and this is something I can, uh, I'd like to point out to you guys. Um, here it says the total numbers of days that you have left of premium. So if you purchase like seven days of premium, it will state here seven days left. And that's because it's rounded up to the number of days that you uh, purchased. However, in game, instead of showing seven days, it will actually show you six days. And the reason that it's doing that is because the moment you purchase it, the counter starts ticking. And that means that the moment you purchase it, it will no longer be seven days, but it will actually be six days and 23 hours. So, and in game, it only counts the days. So that's why in game, you'll be shown six days left instead of 30 of seven days don't think that we robbed you guys of one day of premium that is not the case it will just take down the hours in game and then once it goes past the six days it will be five days and 23 hours and so on and so forth so but here it will just show you the remaining days okay now on to gold let's go over there here we go uh purchasing gold so you can either go with a fixed amount, 5 gold, 10 gold, 20 gold, 50 gold, 100 gold, 200 gold, 500 gold, or get an amount that you like yourself. And that starts at 1. So just uh, fill in a number here, say you want 1000 gold or you want uh, uh, say 7 gold, uh, just fill it in here. And I think it also gives you the option to do half or not. Yes, uh, do it with a period, not with a comma. So 7.5 gold will actually be 15 bucks. So that is how this works. Now, if you got PayPal set up in a different currency, no worries. Or uh, your credit debit card will actually just be converted at the uh, exchange rate of that day. So sometimes um, I've got my PayPal set up in euros. So sometimes... Uh, four dollars that will be like who was it uh free 60 on other days it will be free 80 euros but uh it'll just convert itself so no no worries about that okay so let's get back to the game so now you got premium and or you have gold let's let's do the whole gold thing you purchase yourself say 20 gold and you want to buy yourself something fancy let's see over here uh let's get a rot uh you don't have this three thousand amount of money but you did purchase yourself 30 gold and you're like oh awesome now i can get myself this fucking tl 600 because i'm loving purple and this rod is purple and i want it and so you go ahead and you purchase it only to find out later you are level 12 and the rot level requirement is 22 meaning until you are level 22 your rot will get a dust in your backpack please do not make this mistake i can't stress it out enough uh, you will not be the first one doing that and the first one to be pissed off and disgruntled but this is exactly how the game works you cannot buy stuff that you have not on well you can buy stuff that you have not unlocked yet based on skill or based on level but you simply cannot use it until you reach that requirement and so this is something that confuses a lot of players because in other games you can simply just purchase high level gear even though you're a low level and you can start using it immediately that is not the case with this game please before you purchase anything with gold have a look at the restrictions so like i said there are two types of restrictions a there's a player level requirement meaning if you are below level 22 you will not be able to use this role and then b there is a level uh, skill restriction and for that let's scroll down a bit let's go to match rods 
over here, Metrots. So restriction, uh, it's not showing a level restriction uh, because this is the first one, but it does show fishing with a metro ability is required. I can go ahead and purchase this one. Actually, that is a bad example. Let's go to this one. I can come over here and purchase this one and I'm like, well, I'm level 12, it doesn't matter. I'm level 28, it doesn't matter, you know, it's level 10 and I think that this is a true bargain, particularly compared with the previous one. This is only six gold, so I'm gonna get myself one. And then it's in my backpack and I want to use it and I can't. Can not. And that has everything to do with this. So this is not just a level requirement. Here we have a skill percentage requirement. And that is the following. If we go to float fishing, fishing with a match rod. To make this ability available, you need to develop the skill to 60%. And again, you cannot purchase, you cannot buy yourself this percentage. The only way to do it is to fish. And only then can you increase your skill percentage. And only then will you unlock the match rods. And that goes for a lot of features. Not just simple match rod. That too goes for your spinning, say bait casting reel, you need to have spin fishing at 50%. That goes for feeder fishing, say here fishing with a picker rod, you need to have the skill uh, percentage at 50%. I can go ahead and purchase myself a picker rod, but I cannot use it because my percentage skill is below the required number. Please, 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 I cannot warn you guys enough about this. Don't make the mistake, okay, so I bought myself a, a, a bag of coins, uh, I'm gonna spend them like crazy and then only will you get disappointed and upset because you realize you just spend a whole lot of money and real life money as, uh, on that as well um, and you have not unlocked the ability to use it. So please make sure you have the ability and you have the skill percentage, you have the level and you have the skill percentage unlocked to be able to use that gear. That way you'll not be upset for using money and real life money at that. Uh, and then only to discover later on that you cannot use it just yet. Okay, final thing. You can convert gold to silver. And that is what happens here. ATM, every map has one with the exception of the uh, cottage pond map. You go to it, you interact with it, press E. And you just look at, say, uh, 300 silver is what we want. For that, you pay 2 gold and 95 gold cents. So then you click on it. Uh, you hit this button. I currently don't have enough. Uh, so for me, it will show a warning message. Uh, but here, you guys will actually get a pop-up message and say, are you sure that you want to buy it? And then you click yes or no if you by accident click the mistake. So you go back here and then say uh, you wanted to do 50 instead and you go here and you hit this one. Uh, if you're out of gold and you didn't realize it and here obviously you got the option to replenish, hit this button, you go back to the web browser, add the money uh, in there and you are again good to go. Okay guys, so that is basically it. That is what is going on with premium, that is what is going on with gold. Um, so yeah. If you got any comments, feel free to leave them down below the video. If you got any questions about the game, um, you're more than welcome to leave them below on uh, at, at the video. Having that said, I do not have 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, an eye out on my uh, YouTube vids. And there's a much better place for you to ask your questions about Russian Fishing 4. And that is r4game.com slash forum. Those are the forums. Uh, if you've got an in-game account already, you can just use those details to log in and you will be automatically on the forums. Um, look through the topic that fits with your, the question that you're having. Uh, look through it, see if it's not already been asked, then just put your question in there. And there are guys on the forums 24-7, 7 days a week, so they can always uh, answer your question. And in general, questions are being answered pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, so that is it. For, uh, for now guys, thank you all so much for watching, uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you soon again with another vid uh, video of Russian Fishing 4. Bye bye for now!